pala. Hi! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me again, Teacher Tim May. Siyempre, kasama mo sa yung science journey. Ay, hindi pala. Research pala. <laughs> sa yung research journey. So, kung bago mo palang sa channel na to, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Research 2. lesson vlog, we're going to discuss about the topics that we're going to discuss for quarter 3 in Research 8. Pero, Research 8? Research 2 for grade 8 students. So, kung nandito ka sa channel na ito, salamat sa pagbisita. So, I know you are also looking for the topics that you will encounter during this quarter. But, before we proceed with introducing to you the topics that we will be discussing for this quarter. So, I would like to congratulate all of you for accomplishing the task, activities, assessment that your teacher has given to you for the last quarter. So, alam ko na medyo mahirap din naman talaga na mag-aral during this pandemic times. So, at, na, at still hanggang ngayon, nandito pa rin tayo sa virtual learning. Hindi pa rin tayo makapag-face to face. Yeah, it's very difficult. Pero, I'm super proud sa inyong lahat. So, hanga ako sa inyong perseverance para ipagpatuloy itong inyong study. So, congratulations. So, sana hanggang fourth quarter ay ganyan pa rin kayo na nagsusumika para maunawaan ang bawat lesson na ibinibigay sa inyo. I know it's really difficult to do the self-study at hindi nyo talaga nakakausap yung mga teachers nyo. So, it's too bad. Pero buti na lang sa mga technology na meron tayo, kagaya ng Google Meet, Messenger, Google Classroom, Zoom, and this, and this kagaya ng mga YouTube channel na napapanood nyo yung mga lesson na kailangan nyo matutunan. So, simulan na natin. For this quarter, yes, quarter 3 na tayo, what are the topics that you will encounter in quarter 3 for Research 2? Okay, so first, for Module 1, Week 1, Okay, we're going to discuss about the research design. Okay, and we're going to discuss about its definition, significance, content, and principles, and also the types of research design, which includes the complete randomized design, randomized complete block design. Okay, and of course, during this uh, lesson, okay, in this lesson, you're going to apply the principles of research design and make a valid experimental design. Okay, yun ay sa week 1 pa lang. Pagdating ng week 2, we are going to discuss about the sampling. Okay, ano ba yung ginagamit nating formula to get the sample size in a given population? So, yeah, we are going to discuss about the types of sampling. Okay, and of course, we're going to discuss the difference between sample and population. And for week 3, we are going to discuss about the research methods, the basic laboratory techniques and methods, which includes the biological, the chemical, and the physical. So, ano ba yung mga ginagamit nating method kapag ang topic natin is all about biology, chemistry, and physics? So, you're going to identify standard methods of techniques in performing experiments. And you have to demonstrate proper use of specific standard laboratory procedure. Okay, so week 3, magko-concentrate muna tayo tungkol sa uh, research methods under biological. Ano-ano ba yun? So, we have the microscopy, the tissue culture, aseptic technique, dissection, and the agarose, electrophoresis, and of course, the PCR or the polymerase chain reaction. Okay, for week 4, so it is all also about research method, but this time, we're going to discuss about research methods under the chemical or yung mga study na may kinalaman sa chemistry. And ano ba yung mga examples ng research method na to? It includes the spectrophotometry, titration, extraction, and of course, the qualitative test for secondary metabolites. And for week 5, so ito naman yung research method pa rin, but this time it is under the under physics or the physical. And ano yung mga research methods na include, na include dito sa topic na to? So of course, we have the weighing, 
the grinding, okay, the drying, centrifugation, distillation, chromatography, and pH measurement. Okay, and pagdating naman ng week 6, okay, hanggang week 7, so this time, you're going to apply proper handling and setting of laboratory equipment. Okay, so this is setting and handling of samples and equipment. So, medyo parang challenging sa atin tong part na to kasi hindi naman tayo face-to-face. -face. So, paano kaya natin magagawa? Ano? So, ayun. Uh, tingnan natin kung ano magagawa natin pagdating natin ng week na to. So, those are the topics that you will be encountering for this topic for this quarter 3 in Research 2. So, I hope na hanggang dulo ay magkakasama pa rin tayo at sabay-sabay nating tukulasin ang mga topics na ito. So, congratulations again. So, magsama-sama tayo ulit sa mga susunod na araw. At tapusin natin kung ano yung mga dapat nating tapusin. Congratulations, grade 8 students, at sa lahat ng sudyante all over the Philippines, all over the world. You are the best. This is me again, Teacher Tin May. So, hanggang dito na lang ating lesson vlog. So, abangan nyo ang ating mga next lesson vlog pa rin na i-upload hanggang dito. Congratulations at hello sa aking mga students from grade 8, Jasmine, Marigold, and uh, Tulip. Goodbye and see you on my next vlog. Siyempre, pag bago ka sa channel to, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Research Tool.